And that really leads us to a new Azure capability, which is called uh, Customer Insights. Um, but core to this can and should be Dynamics 365. So what that really is, um, is it's um, a, the ability to take data from a number of different scenarios and, and sources and present it in one kind of overall dashboard, something that's been somewhat of a holy grail to companies for a long time. And again, because of the cloud and having all of these pieces of data um, available to us, we can now deliver this to customers. Now, that doesn't mean it just needs to be Microsoft assets. We can um, present data from different data sources as well, and there'll be some gateways. Um, so you can think of uh, other cloud providers data or even on-premise data being available to this customer insights piece. So let's show you an example. Um, some of you may be familiar with a company called Marston's. Um, have a whole bunch of pubs around the UK. Um, they did use some of our social capabilities first, and now they're one of the first companies to use our customer insights as it was in, in preview. So as you can imagine, <clears throat> they do have quite a lot of different data from different places. They've got their customer data. Some of that was social. They've got um, table reservations and rooms and surveys. They've got the weather, because obviously um, the pubs are busier sometimes um, when it's great weather and they're not so busy when it's raining and cold. Um, they've got their voucher system and all sorts of other systems as well. They then wanted to take that and turn that into intelligence. So what is the satisfaction of um, individuals? What are the trends around booking? What are the trends around spend? What are the trends around demographics? Who attends during what times of the days? And what is the occupancy of different rooms and services that they offer around birthdays and venue hire and so on? And then turn that into action. So personalized service through their wage staff, business insights through the house managers so they can see how much um, occupancy they have in their various rooms and then targeted communications that their marketing staff can do better. So let's see what that looks like. Over here you can see that um, in this case we're looking at the crew in Harper um, and it's really just a nice dashboard that's pulling all this information together. I can see that there's some rain forecast. They've currently got um, a thousand um, pounds of revenue through their room bookings this month. Um, we can see what satisfaction is. I can see a whole bunch of different things. The typical thing with customer insights is two lenses. One is on venue or location, so a branch or in this case a pub. And then the second is this one that I'm just showing you now, which is around a customer. This is someone called Paul Tutherstone. And we can see things like there's an active case around delay in seating. He's made three bookings, and his favorite preference is a double drop ale. And I can see some spider grass around his behavior and kind of a um, different customer journey that he's been on as well. Um, but again, when this goes um, through further iterations, you'll be able to do your own kind of uh, customer insights um, templates as well. So you'll be able to see uh, and build your own um, templates that make the most sense for your customers and your customers' customers. Um, but this is really where things are going. And again, it's all about taking advantage of the, of the of the cloud and all that data that lives there. And the last example of this is actually kind of the wait staff's example where they can open this up. They can see Paul. They can see what he prefers. They can see his favorite uh, combo platter and a current offer for him, which is around the uh, two curries and two drinks for twelve pounds. And that might be because we know, you know, he always comes in with a partner, and this is he's order, always ordering his. Um, drinks for two and those kind of things. So um, really just about turning all that data and intelligence into some kind of action um, that's really going to result in a great customer experience. Because we know if Paul has a great experience, he's going to be back and that's going to really turn uh, into long-term revenue. And again, through this insights, we can start to see whether that really does, that loyalty does turn into revenue. <clears throat> just a quick slide around all the different components. Um, sorry, just. Kevin Ingree from Cognizance asking around, is customer insights an application inside Dynamics, or does it specifically within a certain module? So no, it's an Azure capability, um, Kevin. So it doesn't need Dynamics. It can actually just um, leverage all sorts of different data sources which don't have to include Dynamics 365. However, the reason we've included into this presentation today is because it's better with Dynamics data in it. It could use other CRM systems, for example, um, and even on-premise uh, solutions as well. But really what we'd like to see is customer insights being driven by data that's inside Dynamics 365. And <clears throat> we'd like to think you could probably deliver a better solution to your customers um, when doing Dynamics 365 projects by leveraging things like customer insights as well. So it plays from both sides. <clears throat> 